The siren blares as the fire truck turns and rushes down the street, growing more distant with each passing second. And there it goes, yet another bout of insufferable shrieking from the fire truck, Red Rose complains. Just like every other day, it's unbearable. Her leaves flail as the gust of wind strikes her. I wish there wasn't a fire every five minutes so those fire trucks would cease their incessant wailing. A small bird perches onto the red rose's thorn-covered stem. Maybe then I'll finally be able to live in peace. Having been poked by a thorn during the red rose's fit of fury, the bird takes off. Considering red rose's fantasy, I addressed her exaggeration. Are you sure the fire trucks are that active? I only hear them once or twice a day, less than a minute each time too. Even if they don't come out that often, it's extremely painful when they do. Red Rose, I think you should focus on all of the wonderful things in your life instead of the things that annoy you. How could I ever manage to do that? It's impossible to peacefully rest in my own bed without a deafening motorcycle passing by and shattering the silence. There's a lot of pleasant things that can make you feel better after the vehicles go by. Let's take a moment to appreciate the environment around us. The cool breeze, the warm sunlight that makes for a lovely day, don't you think? The weather here is terrible. One moment there's a drought, the next there's a flood. A day later I'm being blown by absurdly powerful gusts of winds that came out of nowhere. That may be true, but let's truly experience our surroundings in the here and the now. Isn't the soil nice and nutrient rich? Aren't the birds chirps pleasant to listen to? Don't you just love the view of the beautiful setting sun? All I know is that being planted here was a mistake. I should have been planted in one of those extravagant gardens owned by royals, where the plants live in the best treatment and environments known to plant kind. I understand that you want to live in a fancy home, but it's not as amazing as you think it is. I once heard about pink roses experienced living in the palace garden. The weather never changed and the flowers were constantly trimmed. There were never any birds either. You'd find a whole different set of problems there. But there aren't any loud cars near those gardens. You'll always be able to complain about things no matter what lifestyle you lead. However, you can decide how you react to them. If you shift your focus from noisy fire trucks and seemingly heavenly gardens to what we have in the present moment, you'll find that all your suffering will disappear.